Hello and welcome to this video regarding Azure Link Pro and Cubase. If you enjoy the content or if this video has helped you out in any given way, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let's get started. First go to Studio, then Studio Setup. We'll go to Audio System, and for the Azure driver, we will pull down the menu and select Azure Link Pro, and then click on Switch. You'll notice that it's not populated yet, so let's set that up. Click OK. Go to Studio and click on Audio Connections. And here we're going to add a bus and we're going to select Mono. And we're going to do that for however many inputs that we need. Don't forget to rename some of these buses and remove the stereo at the top if it exists there. We're going to add an audio track and we are going to select an input that we want to use for this specific purpose configuration in mono stereo for audio output and then name the bus so that you know exactly what it is go to the bottom right tray click the green icon pop up the panel and set up all of the inputs to their correlating numbers and also don't forget to disconnect the one and two at the top there and for this video i'm going to use neural dsp's fortin nts as the example for piping the audio between cubase and discord Next, pull up Discord and right click the microphone and select the appropriate input. To pipe the audio in, we're going to select Mix01. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. I do read them and I will check them as soon as I can. And again, if this video has helped you out in any given way, or if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification, and I will see you in another video in the future. Thank you very much.